All right, hey everybody, Randy here with an all new Geek World Order video, and I am coming to you with a food review. I uh, found some st random snacks in the uh, international section of my Publix, so thought I'd try them on camera. Uh, what I found here is a uh, Bisley falafel flavor wheat snacks. So, close up on that. See, let's open the bag here. <coughs> so weird. It smells salty. There is a smell, but I can't identify the smell besides salt. Uh, These are weird. They're like close up with that. Can I find a better one? Like these things look like the the little wonton. Oh, what are they? The rice noodles, like the Lachoy rice noodles. They don't smell like them. All right, I mean, I guess the only thing I can do at this point is taste one. The smell is atrocious. These aren't bad. You know, they taste kind of oniony. They honestly, they taste like a funion. Yeah. There it is. That's what it is. I'm picking up onion flavor. Like, there's an aftertaste. I'm trying to figure out what the aftertaste is. I'm also trying to figure out if this is a good taste or a bad taste. Honestly, that's what these taste like. If you took the, if you took a Funyun and you made it into the shape of those Lachoy you know, little noodle, like those crunchy noodles. It's, it's a weird combination. Like, it's basically those things with an onion flavor. I'm getting a, another flavor as I get a good handful of these. Let's see what I can find in the ingredients. Uh, spices, salt. Okay, yep. Onion, garlic. Probably what it is. Um, onion and garlic powder. But... It's not bad. I don't know if, these, if I would call these good, but I wouldn't call them bad. I don't know if you follow that. Like, I may finish this bag, but I don't know if I'd want to buy another bag. Yeah, just trying to get a, a decent sized handful there. Okay, I think these are actually growing on me. I think I think in the end I'm gonna say I like these. So I may pick these up again. I said I found these in Publix in the international aisle. So Not sure how I want to rate these. Like, out of a 10, I'd give them a solid. I'd give them a 6. Yeah, I think I'd put them in the I'd be willing to buy them again category. 
Um, so yeah, I think I'll do it for this review, and uh, see you next time.